Hello, I'm Lloyd with DIY Mind Design. Welcome to my video about how to use Microsoft To Do as a fantastic goal setting tool. It's free and it's easy to use. I have a simple but potent method to set up your goals. Let's start. First, type to-do.live.com in your browser and go to the start page. There are download links on the bottom here if you want the desktop slash laptop application version. Download the version for your system after you have a Microsoft account. Click Get Started. If you already have a Microsoft account, log in. If not, click Create One and fill in an email and password. Use any email you have to sign up or you can select the new email option. Create a password and you're ready to go. I recommend that you use the desktop or laptop application because it has more functions, like for example, changing the order of tasks very easily. Once you have an account, open the app and set up your goals. Okay, this is the desktop version. You can set goals by clicking on New List. Then type in the goal name and press Return. And you can add tasks for the goals by clicking on the bottom where it says Add a Task. Then type in the task names. You can change the order by holding the left mouse button down and moving the task. You can add subtasks by clicking on the tasks and opening the sidebar. Click on Add Task and type in your subtasks. Close the panel by clicking on this arrow on the bottom or by clicking on the taskbar. It shows you below the task how many subtasks you have and how many have been completed. When you finish the subtask, click the circle. A check mark shows you hear a completion bell, and it shows you here that one of two tasks is completed. When you finish a task, click on the circle, and the task moves down to the completed area. Then, you can click on this arrow to hide it or show it. Now, let's look at the other features available in the sidebar. First, you can click this star here or here to add this task to the important list. You add the task to my day by clicking here. I'll show you in a minute how to manage your activities daily with my day. You can set a reminder for this task by clicking on remind me. You have these preset options or you can pick a different date and time. When you set a reminder, it tells you when and what time here, and it moves the task into the planned list here. Repeat allows you to set up daily, weekly, monthly reminders for repetitive tasks. Assigned to allows you to create a link to give to someone if you are outsourcing or if you're working with a team. The link gives them access to this list. You can also add files from your computer and add a note. If you click on this trash can icon, it will delete this task. Now I want to finish this video by going over an example goal. I have a goal here of setting up a new website with 15 articles and 5 videos over the next 8 weeks from November 1st through December 27th. When I make tasks, I put the week I plan to do it in parentheses next to the task. These are all set for the first week. Writing articles here is set for one article the first week and two articles each week for weeks two through eight. And here, the task is making one video in the 2nd, 4th, 
6th, 7th, and 8th weeks. And now, here's how you manage your daily activity with My Day. Click on My Day and then click on the idea bulb here in the upper right corner. Now, click on More to show all of your tasks. Right below the task is the goal name or the list name. Add a task to your My Day list by clicking on this plus sign. You can also right click on the task and select Add to My Day. A third way is to select Control plus T on your keyboard. That's all about using this application for goal setting. There is a link below this video to a complete tutorial for Microsoft To Do. There is also a link for how to make an action plan for your goals. And finally, I have a link below this video to contact me if you have any questions. I wish you the best in your goal setting pursuits.